my first question is that uh, this is the second day uh, in your life in Hungary in mm-hmm. Budapest. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I've had a, had a very nice time. Very nice time. Um, um, just um, got in yesterday and then played the 8.38 and then um, today slept until one o'clock, which was great. <laughs> and um, woke up and walked around town and um, it was uh, lovely. Um, had some uh, good food and uh, good beers and saw some uh, good scenery, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah. It's been uh, delightful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What was the weirdest uh, place ever to play on? <laughs> hmm. Weirdest place I've ever played. Yes. <laughs> well. Hard question. <laughs> one time, long time ago. Um. It wasn't so much strange place to play but um, the opening act was a puppet show oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we show up and there's people with puppets and we're like what the fuck <laughs> was it a, on a festival or, or no something? no it's just a just a show mm-hmm. yeah Do you often go to play on a, uh, in a festival or, or, or more uh, in a club? Clubs. Clubs, clubs. clubs. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I, I Do like, you prefer the clubs? I prefer the clubs. Uh-huh. I prefer the clubs. Yeah, festivals... Um, well, there's a word for it. I call it clusterfuck. There's uh, so many bands, so many people, so many things going on that uh, it, it, you seem to get lost. Mm-hmm. Uh, where if you're playing a club um, and uh, you're, you know, you're, you're the show, you know, with uh, s- uh, support acts and stuff like that, it seems like people pay a lot more attention to um, what's going on. Mm-hmm. Where if you're in a festival and there's 30, 40 bands, I mean, you kind of get lost in the uh, sea of uh, things, rock and roll, <laughs> rock and roll crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, some technical question. Uh, you play on a mezzo boogie pad. I do over here. Over here. When I play back in the States, mm-hmm. I have uh, Marshall. Marshall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, my problem is that when I come over here mm-hmm. and I ask for Marshalls, um, they're very unreliable. Um, and I find that the masses are very reliable. Um, you, get, you get the same thing every night um, and from the companies that we rent from mm-hmm. when they have the maces for me they're very very reliable mm-hmm. now I asked for Marshall and you you don't know what you're gonna get mm-hmm. you just don't but like, I, I, I asked because it sounds awesome so <laughs> now <laughs> now if Marshall would give me a head to have over here Maybe it'd be okay. <laughs> um, your bassist uh, have an ac- had an acoustic uh, acoustic head. Yes, yes. yes it's, it's, a, it's a transistor. Um, yes, yes, yes. But it's uh, that's extremely reliable as well. It's um, mm-hmm. it's kind of a, like a John Paul Jones uh, style mm-hmm. from uh, Led Zeppelin. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, <laughs> they um, they hardly ever break down very road resistant you know like uh, you can take them on the road for a long time and, and they will not break you know mm-hmm. yeah yeah um, effect yes Stop my it. only effect is one chord into the guitar one chord into the amp ah that's yes. it uh-huh okay that's enough i think so uh-huh um 
Your music is basically instrumental. Um, mm -hmm. Why is it so um, important? What do you think about it? Because it's well, not good, but uh, it's um, it's kind of uh, like what we originally started doing. Um, we never put vocals to the songs. And then it got to be kind of habit, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but we've always, like, uh, we've worked with different vocalists, and um, that's okay as well. But uh, we find that the three of us um, get along musically a lot better mm -hmm. without anybody else. Yes, yes. Okay. So, but, um, we we work with people and uh, it's 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 a good time as well, you know. Um, like on our last record, uh, we had uh, a friend of mine, uh, and a friend of Rich's, and and Rob's, uh, Daniel Davies. He sang uh, on three songs on the last record, and uh, it worked out really well. You know, those songs are really good. Um, but uh, as far as touring around and playing live. We enjoy uh, just doing the instrumental thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what motivated you to stay here in Budapest for this this show? Oh, um, well, we um, have two days off, and uh, the next show is in Germany, mm -hmm. and we decided, well, why not? stay in Budapest because it's a beautiful town and we've never been here before and um, let's let's hang out and then we find out Kai Les is playing at a club and we got on the guest list so <laughs> okay so why not you know um, yeah I mean um, it's nice to um, stay in a hotel and wake up when you want to wake up and, and take a shit when you want to take a shit and take a shower when you want to take a shower instead of like, you know, constantly. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, yes one more question, I think. Uh, I just saw uh, a video on YouTube uh, about your band uh, on the Duna Jam in Germany. Uh, Duna Jam. In 2009. Oh, yeah. Yes. It was awesome, so I, I really liked it. Uh, and uh, we uh, we did Duna Jam uh, about a month ago. About a month. We played Duna Jam again. Ah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We did it this year. Uh, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 2009 and this year. Mm -hmm. um, we are uh, starting to plan a jam session like Duna Jam in Hungary. Oh, in really? The, uh, future. Okay. So, do you think that, uh, do you, can you imagine that you can play uh, in Hungary on a festival? No way. <laughs> I imagine. No. <laughs> okay. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my pleasure. Cheers.